Welcome back to Aviary Attorney with NNA. John's upstairs. He's not. He's not here today. Technically, he's working. Yeah, he working. Occasionally, special cinematic scenes marked by an exclamation mark will pop up on the map screen. These cinematic scenes are only available for one day before disappearing, but they take no time to visit. Their viewing is entirely optional. Why would you optional it? Go look at it. Oh yeah, I think they are wolves. Cause it's loops. A storm is brewing, my brother. Word of the royal assassination attempt has spread. The proletariats grow confident. The bourgeoisie are cowering. It won't be long before we have rioting. And then a rebellion. Revolution. Same thing. <laughs> Alright, so... I believe we were gonna go here. Yeah, and we can now. See? It'll take a whole day to go yeah. now. Yep, this is where we need to go. It's distressing, though, because we, we haven't visited the Chocolate Emporium yet. I feel like maybe we're not supposed to? I don't think so, actually. We'll see when we get to uh, it. I didn't see it in the guide. That, that's you. Sorry. Uh, oh. You again? Visiting hours are over. Come back later. I have no time for your quibbling, monsieur. Stand aside. You can't talk to me like that. I most certainly can. We have reason to believe that you are housing a suspect under false pretenses. That is in direct violation of statutes, statutes 204B and 488C of the French Criminal Code of Justice. Failure to comply with our request may result in you, yes, you, Monsieur, being held directly responsible for any consequential legal action. <laughs> all right, all right. No need to break out the legalese on me. I'll go up in the cell. Wow, Falcon. How'd you memorize those criminal codes? I fucking made them up. Memorize? Come on, Sparrowson. Learn how to bluff. What is up with that thing going on? Oh, well, the, the taskbar keeps popping yeah. up the bottom. Yeah, I see that. Fuck off, taskbar. Ah, Senor Falcon, it is good to see you again. You have some good news about my case, I hope? Uh. Jasper, chill. I think we confront him politely. Hang on. We're usually polite. Yeah, we're pretty polite. I would say polite. Listen, Juan, in order to maximize our chances of a successful trial, I need to know every bit of information. I can't work with half-truths. Hi, Isis. If you tell me one thing, and the prosecution's evidence tells me another, then we're both in trouble. I am afraid I don't quite follow, senor. Do you want me to spell it out? I know you're not the Prince of Spain. I know that your name is not Juan Carrido. Where is this coming from? I assure you, senor, that I am who I claim to be. If you want your trial to be a farce, then you don't need my help. Come, Sparrowson, we're leaving. Wait, wait, wait. Calm yourself, Monsieur Falcon. I'll reveal all. Oh, I was still being Spanish. Sorry. Did you just say my sure? What happened to your Spanish accent? Your suspicions are well placed. Juan Carrito is not my real <laughs> name. And I am not a Spanish prince. No shit. That was just a persona I concocted for the purpose of getting arrested. Good. Uh... We pretty much know his we real know name. We know his real name, but hang on. I really want to know why he's getting arrested. Okay, we don't travel to the Chocolate Emporium until the 18th. I don't want to rely on the guide too much. I know. I, well, no, I was trying to find where we were, and I was too far below. Um, eh, maybe we can... What is your real name, I guess? So what is your real name? What's in a name? It's... Just, I don't even remember what voice I was doing. It's just an empty label. A vapid reflection of who we really are. <laughs> Today, I am Juan Carrillo, Prince of Spain. Tomorrow, I may meet Bruno Rayer, a pauper living under a bridge of the scene. But that doesn't change who I am or what I do. That really didn't answer my question. No, I suppose it didn't. But you're a smart bird, Monsieur Falcon. I suspect that you already know my real name. Yeah. Yeah. You are Renard Volpez, a private investigator. Very astute. 
And you are Monsieur Falcon, a private defense attorney. But what? But that wasn't always your name, was it, Monsieur Falcon? Just like me, you know how to adopt a new persona on a whim. You changed your name, Falcon? Pff, I didn't know that. This isn't about me. Juan, Renard, Monsieur, we're trying to uncover the truth here. Of course. So what truth is it that you are attempting to uncover, Monsieur Falcon? Why would you want to get arrested? Why would you want to get arrested? Hmm, you're putting me in a difficult position, Monsieur. If I tell you the full story, I would be putting someone else in danger. How about this? I'll tell you a story. I like stories! Story time. There was a girl, a mademoiselle, who was in a great deal of debt. Uh, is it the swan? It's the cat. It's the cat. <laughs> it's the I cat know. again. Everyone has debt these days, Monsieur. Indeed. But this particular mademoiselle was indebted to a very powerful man. And Shut that up, man John. wished to collect. I bet it's going to be that fat motherfucking cat that you hope that people play cards with. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. The mademoiselle had no means of paying, so the man offered her a deal. Oh, uh, so you guys didn't get to see him because we oh, didn't. Oh, yeah. Uh, upstairs in the card room, there's this dude who basically you play blackjack with him, and he takes all your money. We suspect he's cheating. We're pretty sure he's cheating. And I feel like that'll be relevant at some point. Mm -hmm. Murder this man, and I will forgive what you are owed. Refuse, and I will reap what I am owed from your parents. With no alternative options, the mademoiselle accepted. But another man, a gallant knight with foolish, archaic notions of chivalry, heard the mademoiselle's story. The knight knew that murder was inevitable, but he saw a way to take the fall in the mademoiselle's place. Do you understand what I am saying, Monsieur? I understand. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I understand, Monsieur. To be honest, it wasn't the subtlest of allegories. Word. Ah, storytelling was never my strong suit. But I'm glad you're seeing things from my perspective. Hopefully that sheds some light on the situation. The situation. If I may ask, Monsieur, why did you not just go to the police with the information that you had? The police are not always an option. What is a man to do when the justice 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 system? Justice system, 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 when the justice system itself is the problem? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll let you know when I figure it out, Monsieur. Oh. Dwell on it. Perhaps we should talk about something else in the meantime. That's all. I think we're good, bro. I don't have any more questions for you, Juan. I think we've learned all that we can for now. Really? I don't feel like we've learned very much. That's okay, John. Oh, Monsieur Falcon, before I forget, could you find Mousy and ask him whether the birds have successfully flown south for the winter? Ooh, she gone. Whether the birds have flown south? What is that? Some sort of code? Something like that. But rest assured, Monsieur, this does directly pertain to the case. Well, if we have time, I'll be sure to let Mousy know. Guess what we're doing tomorrow? I know. Let's make a move, Sparrowson. Trial day is approaching. I thought tomorrow was... No, tomorrow's the 16th. Yep, tomorrow's okay. the 16th. We have until the 17th? Yep. Uh, the, apparently, the trial goes on for multiple days in this one. Oh, okay. Um, because, as like I said, I was trying to find where we were in the guide, and I saw the words, visit the Chocolate Emporium, and the date was the 18th. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I feel like we really the only thing we can do right now is go see Mousy. Yeah. And that's what we're supposed to do. Okay. This is stuff that I read last time, was that we were supposed to go see him next. It's kind, it kind of leads you in the right direction. Yeah. Oh, hello again. Hi, Mousy. Mousy, we have a message for you. It's from Prince Juan himself. He wants to know if the birds have flown south for the winter, whatever that means. Oh, yes, yes. The birds have migrated successfully. But... Oh, I turned into Fluttershy there for a second. But if Monsieur, I mean, Prince Juan told you that, then that must mean that he trusts you. He must want you to take these. Go on, take them, take them. These are used train ticket stubs? It looks like two people took a railway trip to Vienna. Her parents. Yeah. Ah. What exactly is the point? The point this, Mousy? How do you guys not get that? <laughs> what exactly is the point this? What exactly is the point this, Mousy? Um, Prince Juan said that they would help with the trial. See the name. See the names. See the names. 
Pat- Gautier, Gautier Signy, Signy, and Nicole Signy. Signy. I recognize the surname, but I don't know who these people are. Oh, oh my, my god, god Falcon. Falcon! Um, neither do I, really. Sure. Once you're, I mean, Prince Juan just told me to book train tickets for these people and then make sure they caught the train. And so, and so that's what I did. Strange. I'm not sure exactly how these stubs are supposed to help with the trial, but I'll keep a hold of them just in case. It's like, Phoenix right. you're like, I goddamn know what it is! Fucking, ugh! It's a good thing both these cups have water in them or I would knock one off. <laughs> Ticket stubs have been added to your evidence folder. Let's go, Sparrowson. I'm done playing Courier. Good call. I don't know if you can tell, but I really fucking love Mousy's voice. <laughs> I fucking love doing that. It's fun. So we have to go to the trial now. Yep. Here we go. To the trial. To the trial. Hello, Isis. Isis came to say hi, guys. She's probably going to end up whining in a minute. Once again, Sp- Falcon and Sparrowson find themselves waiting outside the doors to the tri- tribunal de grande instance. Are you feeling nervous, Falcon? Actually, not really. Nah. Nah. Oh, but we are up against Coco Rico. Actually, I think we might have a handle on this case. All the pieces are coming together nicely. All we really know, though, is that Juan Carrido, or I mean, yeah, Don, Juan Carrido, quotes, is trying to take the fall for Signy. When yeah. she really did do it. Well, no, sort okay, of. but he really did do it as yeah. well. Yeah. However, we have to... Come Basically, here. they were the weapons, and we have to prove that... The other dude is... It's gonna get loud for a minute, guys. Sorry, I'm scooting the table so I can pick the dog up. Isis. I told you she was gonna do this. Come here. You have lived upstairs for, like, two weeks. And suddenly, you're like, hey, I want to be downstairs. Alright, sorry about that. Anyway, awesome. Let's demolish that pompous prosecutor with walls of evidence. Isis, don't start digging. Lay down. She's gonna do it. Isis, stop. Senor Falcon, I trust everything is in order. Isis! Sorry, we're staring at her, waiting for her to settle down. Lay down! Lay Isis. down! Alright. I. Absolutely, I have every intention of bringing the truth to light in this trial. Ah, such confidence. That's my nearest thing to see. I'm bringing the truth to light, you say. An admiral goal. No more jousting at imaginary giants. All of you stopped. All of you cease your yammering. The door is opening. Here we go. Buena suerte, Senor Falcon. We will. Are we ready? We're ready. Oh, my knee hurts. All of a sudden. Stop, Isis. JJ. <laughs> oh, my God. Severin. Nervous. Why would I be nervous? I'm not nervous. I'm as calm as a cuckoo. You're the nervous one. The whole courtroom is nervous. <laughs> okay, Falcon. Oh, pull your feathers, Falcon. Mm, terrible. You can't even maintain a stoic for Cade. Whatever. I thought this trial would be the perfect opportunity for you to redeem your previous embarrassments. But if this is how you act before the trials even started. Why, you pompous tailed posture perfect. Hello. Is that a different judge? It is. Judge Romulus. And that's also a, fo- a wolf. A wolf or a fox, yeah. No, it's a wolf. It's Romulus. That's true. Um, so, uh... You can do the same judge voice. It don't matter. Order, order. Let's all settle down. The court is now in session. Psst, Falcon! What is it? Is it me, or does the primary judge look hairier today? So it's not just us. It's a different judge to the one who resided over... Dame Catterline's trial, you doofus. Oh, still, it's a little strange, isn't it? Why? I well, guess I think so. I think so, yeah. A little, I suppose. 
Excuse me, your honor. I was under the impression- Ah, so it is oh. a little strange. I was under the impression that Judge Maxime would be residing over this case. Where is he? Judge Maxime has gone on a temporary sick leave due to a terrible accident with a flight of stairs. Accident. I'm going to settle on a voice for this guy eventually, but... Eh, whatever. But rest assured, assurers, prosecutor, defense, and members of the jury, I am more than qualified to fill his shoes. Without further ado, let's get this show underway. This is the trial of Prince Juan Carrito, who stands accused of murdering Major Howell and of conspiring to murder the king himself. Roll call. Whoa. The defense is present and ready, Your Honor. The Browning Union is ready, Your Honor. Good. Very good. I expect this to be a nice, speedy trial. I don't want to see this dragged out by technicalities and bureaucracy. You could suck my dick. Mm-hmm. Well then, Your Honor, I expect that once the court sees the overwhelming evidence, this trial will be over in five minutes. F five minutes? He's just messing with your head, Falcon. Keep it together. So we're all on the same page? Excellent. Prosecutor, please call your first witness to the stand. I want to say that... <laughs> Uh, he was like, I don't want it to be drawn out by bureaucracy or whatever. And I'm like, okay, but this whole thing is centered around just yeah. fucking bullshit. Very well. I call the police officer who investigated the crime scene. This dude again. I call upon Inspector Juste Volteri. Step up to the stand, Inspector, and recite the oath. I don't even fucking remember. All right. I think it was you, because you couldn't give him a consistent voice. I couldn't. Nope. He was kind of like a pirate. I know. As I'm looking at him, I'm like, that's the exact voice I was planning to give him anyway. I swear to, I swear to speak the truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I swear. God dang. I cannot say swear without getting real southern. Oh, it's because I'm going to Texas. That's why. I gotta, get, I gotta get ready for that. Um. <laughs> you can do it. I believe in you. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna work our way into it, so it'll be a little iffy here for a second. I swear to speak without hatred and without fear, to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. There we go, I'm getting it. Please, oh wait, that's Coco Rico. No. Oh, fuck, I can't do the pretentious voice. Please recite your name and occupation for the court record. It's because you made the judge real similar. I know. My name is... Hey. My name is Inigo Montoya. I can kill my father. I'm prepared to die. <laughs> oh, okay. I can't even. You can do it. I believe you. I can't even think of the voice that I want to do. That's why it's hard. Ugh. My name is. Ugh. Yeah, then do something else. <laughs> Just do something else. My name is Inspector Juste Valerti. I am a servant to the law, a scourge of the gutter rats. There it is. That's the one I'm looking for. You had to for. get the scourge and gutter rats. <laughs> that will do, Inspector. We've all heard your monologue before. It's because I was doing it way up high in my throat and I had to get... <sighs> oh, Coco Rico is really going for the speed record, isn't he? Now, can you tell us what you witnessed on the morning of the 7th of January? Of course. Ugh, excuse me, I was <laughs> at 10 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> at 10 o'clock in the morning, I was called to the Louvre's Grand Gallery by one of the King's Royal Guards. Oh, this voice hurts. Did he, did he oh, say o'clock? Oh, did he? I don't know. It was 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. There I saw Prince Juan, King Louis, Louis Felipe, the corpse of Major Howell with a rose in hand, and around two dozen citizens. That was a weird sentence. Yeah. Sorry. I, I didn't know where it was going. The citizens and the king himself all attest to seeing Major Howell taking the rose from Prince Juan's hand and then promptly dropping dead. And what did the morgue uncover upon examination of the corpse? The coroner determined with absolute certainty that Major Howell died of poisoning. Aside from a prick on the finger, there was no sign of external harm to Major Howell's body. Therefore, the poisoned rose must have been the cause of death. Putting the pieces together, that does seem very implicative of the prince. I have no further questions. 
Damn, I was hoping that the coroner's report would determine that the guy died from a freak heart attack or something. We wouldn't still be here if that were the case, Falcon. I mean, we would. Uh, With the way these people are. I guess that's true. That would make for a particularly speedy trial, wouldn't it? But no, we aren't so lucky. Something else, something else must be amiss about the old bird's testimony. I want to say that I just noticed that Falcon is holding a cane. Oh, I, I haven't noticed right, that. Right, okay. I'll tear it apart. When it goes down to Sparrow Sin, you'll see it. Okay. That's why he has his hands behind his back. He's holding it. Oh, okay. Uh, Your Honor, I wish to cross-examine the witness. Falcon, was it? Don't waste the court's time. A high-ranking police officer would never lie on the witness stand. I wouldn't accuse the... I wouldn't accuse... Not incuse. I wouldn't accuse the inspector of lying. I just want to make sure that every base is properly covered. Ugh, that sounds like pointless nitpicking to me. But I'll allow it for now. Go on, Falcon. Do your cross-examination. Hello, King of Cross-examination. Right. So like the statement to question. I don't know what to question about. I him. know. Okay, so 10 o'clock in the morning, I was called to the Lou's Grand Gallery by a royal guard. I saw Prince Juan, King and the courts of Major Hal, with a rose in hand. Around two dozen citizens. Our coroner determined that Major Hal died of poisoning. Okay, open our journal. Our, that's our Facebook. Yeah, I meant our, our stuff. All right, what do we got? We got Don Quixote... Okay, we've got Major Hal. Okay, Daisy and Monk's Hood. Um, chocolate wrapper, our new business card. Go to our Facebook, actually. I wonder if it tells us what the people have said to us. Uh, find the porcupine dude. Or no, it doesn't, does it? You just roll over and you see stuff. You can't click on him, can you? I don't know. We've never tried. Where is the porcupine dude? Um, and you can't I... do anything with this page anyway. You can't use the Facebook. The only thing that I don't remember hearing, of course, it was a while before we played after we recorded the first bit, was uh, the 10, o 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. That's the only thing I think we can question. Because it is Major Howell that's dead. Yeah. Um, poisoning. The only other thing is two dozen citizens. I don't remember anyone saying how many people were there, but I think they did say there might have been a... Yeah. Uh... Actually, no, I thought I thought the place was supposed to be empty. Yeah, I would say two dozen citizens. Because I, I was like, wait, no, I do remember hearing ten o'clock in the morning-ish. So let's question two dozen citizens. Yeah, let's see. You guys are probably watching this in order. We didn't record for a couple of weeks yeah. between our opening preview <laughs> of what happened and yeah. then uh, the last episode. So, all right. <clears throat> Inspector, you say that there were around two dozen citizens, all of whom attest to seeing my client deliver the poison to Rose. Oh boy, when you put it like that, our situation seems a little dire, doesn't it? Correct. We collected precisely 22 testimonies, and there were no major inconsistencies. Well, that's weird. What exactly did they say? I don't want to ask if they're trustworthy. Yeah. I would like some further details. What exactly did the testimonies say? I mean, if this was a real court trial, he would have to see all the evidence and testimonies, so... Yeah, but that's not how these court games I work. Know. That, that's you. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not kimchi. Uh, each citizen attested to seeing the king and his entourage approaching the new painting at the Grand Gallery. They... Each heard the king deliver a short speech, which was on the subject of progress and societal improvements and whatnot. There was some applause, then Prince Juan stepped out of the crowd and approached the king with a rose in his hand. That sounds all accurate. Each person then saw Major Howell take the rose from Prince Juan, and each person saw Major Howell promptly drop dead. I see. This, this voice makes me need to burp. <laughs> some of the descriptions of the man's death were quite graphic. Ooh, okay, this is important. He yeah. convulsed, twisted, and spasmed, said one witness. Wolf His babe. mouth frothed like he was a rabid lunatic, said another. Th thank you, Inspector. I think we get the picture. I don't think so. I mean, if they're all consistent, it doesn't matter. Oh, wait. If they're all consistent, that's weird. What? Well, not what? really, but if they're all consistent, that consistent? Then it might be staged. What That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's weird that they're all so consistent. Are the testimonies trustworthy? 
I saw nothing to give me doubt. But surely there's a possibility the citizens were bribed or threatened. Well, I can, I can understand having doubts about one or two testimonies, but are you really saying that 22 people were coerced? Yeah? It is a possibility. We're talking about a king here. Like, anyone who is going after a king is probably rich themselves. Yeah. Especially the person we think it is. Yeah. God damn it. Uh, it's a realistic possibility that we must consider. Monsieur Falcon, I know a thing or two about corruption. I've seen plenty of liars during my time as a police officer. A man can be bribed or threatened into reciting a lie. Perhaps five or six can maintain a consistent story. Well, that's the I'm thing slowly that's getting more me. pirate. He, like, they're all, they all have a consistent story. That's the weird part to me. Yeah. But 22? The seams of the lie would show well before then. It's just not possible. Okay. Well said, Inspector. Defense, don't waste our time by bringing up these stupid possibilities. Suck my dick! But, like, can we mention they're stalling? What a buffoon. Okay, we've lost favor with the jury. No, about the, no not about the crowd's testimony. All right. There, I don't really feel like there is anything to question. We have to question something until we find what it is. Uh, well, then the only other thing is 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, I don't know if we're looking for an inconsistency right now, or if we're just... Let's see, at 10 o'clock in the morning... Wait, well, now that we have information about what the poison did, maybe we can, uh... Yeah, we can question the poisoning. Let's try. Inspector, you see that the coroner determined with certainty that the major ha- that the it, major Because it would be nice to know what kind of poison. Yeah, was killed by poison. Correct. He stated the signs and symptoms were textbook. There is no possibility that his head, his, his death was not, his head was natural. <laughs> that ain't no natural head. That ain't no natural head. What kind of poison was it? We already know how they think he was poisoned. Yeah. So what kind of poison was it? Well, we're going to ask what kind of poison it was in the next episode. So we'll see you guys next time. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey everybody, this is J2A. We just want to say thanks for watching our video. We appreciate any and all support we get from viewers, new and returning. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye! Bye.